Good morning. How you doing? Did you know it's 2222? I thought that was pretty cool that it's 2222 today. Um, there's something to be grateful for in that, huh? Um, yes, I thought so. So let's let's get started with our meditation. Um, you can already probably see how pretty it looks outside. Um, and um, I hope you are waking up to a day that, that you're able to feel the feelings of your day and you have at least one thing to look forward to. Um, sometimes that's all we got. So let's, let's get started with the reading. Again, this is from Melanie Davies. Oops, you can see my little sticker to remind us to tell us about 222. This is a very slick operation here. Um, <laughs> Here it is. So, Melody Beatty, Journey to the Heart, Delhi Meditations on the Path to Freeing Your Soul. So here we go. Cherish today's lessons. I'm brokenhearted about my divorce, the man said. I've spent four years searching for a new wife, trying to recreate my family, trying to jam the pieces of the picture back in place. All I've gotten from my desperate search is more pain and anguish. It's hurt other people. It's hurt me. I'm tired of trying to manipulate other people to meet my own needs, to postpone my own grief. Some of us may be desperately trying to recreate the life we once had. Anyone feel that one? I've been there. But fear, pain, and desperation won't attract the answer we're seeking. Desperation attracts desperation. Pain attracts pain, and so the downward spiral goes. Yes, loss hurts. Sometimes life, sometimes life hurts too, but loss can't be negotiated. Isn't that a good one? <laughs> can't be negotiated. Becoming obsessed with putting the pieces back in place is an understandable reaction, but it won't work. Yesterday cannot be superimposed on today. We need to go one step further. Feel the obsession and let it go. Feel the desperation, then release that. Come back to the lessons of today. They're different from the lessons of yesterday, but just as valuable. We face many losses along the way. People we love disappear from our lives. We may lose a career, money, or something else we valued. We can lose our dreams too. But looking for quick replacements as a way to avoid feeling pain about the loss won't work. And we'll miss the lesson. Before we can go on, we must feel our sadness about what we lost. Losses demand acceptance. Eventually life will send you new people and new dreams. Cherish this time to grow and learn. Cherish what the universe is teaching you now. That's a really good one. I am. I'm watching this show, which is a really long name. Um, what the woman? It's on Netflix. What the woman uh, across the street from the girl in the window? It's impossible to tell people <laughs> what the name of the show is. But um, not to give you away too much of the plot. But she's she's um, grieving a loss, and I can, and she's drinking herself. Um, I'm going to write about this. She's drinking herself uh, to numb, which I totally get. Um, but she comes to this point in this story where she says, I was trying to not feel the pain of the, of the loss, which was significant for her. And she kept resisting it and it was three years. And I totally, again, totally get this, but she realizes that if she just feels the pain of it, rather than trying to numb it with, in her case, wine and distracting herself with what was going on in the neighborhood. Um, she could feel it. But the thing was, it was interesting that she also added to it, which I actually recorded this and I need to, I need to put it on, um, on YouTube so people can see it, is she said that, I think, you know, one of the reasons she didn't want to feel it because she was afraid then she would not remember her child or she wouldn't, I'm sorry, I gave you some of the thing away, she wouldn't remember, she wouldn't still be connected to them. She was connecting to this loss and this negative, all this negative memories. Um, and a big thing that I learned when I was grieving is that you need to connect 
the healthy thing to connect, not you need. You, the thing, the healthy thing to do is connect through happy memories. Um, we get stuck in the trauma of the, of the difficult ones. Um, and we feel like we have to be there because we miss them. And, um, and we feel that that's honoring them somehow. But it's, it's not healthy. They wouldn't want you to be stuck there. Oh, that's a lot. Let's just breathe. Um, got my coffee here. So let's do let's do a meditation or centering. I'll call it um, that'll kind of help with those feelings. So we're gonna gonna work on grounding with you a little bit, and then we're just gonna bring some divine energy into our bodies. Um, your divine energy, whatever you believe in, and it can just be um, if it's. If if that's a little uh, freaky for you, um, you can think about people that you've loved and, and they can be the person that, and the energy that comes to you. So let's do that. Let's find ourselves comfortable. Again, remembering you can close your eyes or you can just look ahead of your lap just a little bit on something that's not moving, hopefully. And just find your breath. And just notice the feelings that you have today on this brown hog day. To 222. Maybe notice how it feels to just think about the, the whimsy of it being 2222. You might even notice just a little lightness that shows up. We have a body thing going on all the time. Our body is feeling all of our emotions, all of the things. It tells us all the things that we're feeling really. But let's just notice it. Inhale, and exhale. Do that a couple more times. And if your mind wanders, it's okay. Just bring it back to the breath. Just noticing how you're breathing. Let's just ground our feet. So I'm supposed to notice your feet wherever they are. They might be on the floor or they're on your bed still. Just notice them. And just imagine that there's roots coming through your feet, through the floor, through the bottom of the building that you're in, or outside, through the ground. Let those roots nestle all the way down through to the center of the earth. And feel the support of that. You know, the earth, nature, it just has a normal rhythm, right? It just keeps happening. It's here to support us. Go back into that. Inhale. Exhale. Know that you are supported here. That you are safe. You're secure in this moment, right here. And I want you to think about divine energy. Maybe it's for you a deity. Maybe it's energy. Maybe it's somebody who loves you or has, has loved you. I want you to imagine that light from them in the sky. Just roll with it. I know we're gonna, you might get some resistance here, but just roll with it if you can. I want you to think about that white light, that light that's special just for you. And let that white light come down through the top of your head, down through your forehead, your eyes, your throat, through your heart, down through the tops and bottoms of your core, into the hips and the glutes, and all the way down your fingertips, and all the way down your legs, back down towards the floor, through the roots you put together down there, into the center here. That white light. It's filling you with love and strength, confidence, contentment. 
in this moment, you can feel all those things. You can be all those things. That no matter what's happened before or what will happen in the future, you have this moment, and you always have this moment, right? We can always come here. Tap back into this feeling. Let's take a few breaths here. Let's think about our intention for today. What do you want to achieve? It may be not achieving things, too, you know? It doesn't have to be always doing. How do you want to be in your day? When those things come up, when we haven't eaten, when we've been in back-to-back -back Zoom meetings, when we are triggered, how do we want to respond? And when we look back on this day, this precious day, 2-2-22, how do we want to be thinking about it? And maybe somewhere in there we should say to ourselves that we are enough as we are. We're doing the best we can. And we are not. Take a quick breath in. Let that seep all over our body. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And let's set that intention one more time. Inhale whatever it is you want. And exhale. gently open my eyes and go catch the sunrise, which I hope you are seeing out the window there. Yeah, it was a great day. I love you lots. Take good, good care of yourself.